what do I think of the marketplace? Um, Okay, so I think there's sort of two sides to it. There's the marketplace of the, of the business owners that are selling their business. Um, and then there's the marketplace of sort of business brokers, I guess, and us guys like us who then sell them, help them sell the business. So probably um, I think with the business owners, uh, there's definitely more and more businesses coming on the market. There's no doubt about that. We're about to go through this whole baby boomer wave. It's sort of already started. And got these people who've owned their businesses for years and years. A lot of their kids don't want to take them over. So I think that's sort of driving a lot of it. Um, yeah, so they need to sell. They want to exit their business and they want to um, cash in, basically. So that's driving a lot of the demand for people wanting to sell. I think getting businesses um, to sell is not overly difficult. You know, you just sort of need a good system and a brand to be able to do it that they trust. Um, and then there's, I suppose, the other parts, the brokers that's themselves. And... I suppose my take on that is it's a pretty fragmented industry. There's a really no, we're probably the only really well-known brand name that's actually in the marketplace. So the rest are sort of, there's a couple out there that are sort of got, um, do things okay, but by and large, it's a lot of small operators. So, and I think where people sort of head with a decision like this is sort of to, unless I've got a personal connection with someone, then it's probably branding, you know, like who they trust, who seems to be the biggest, who seems to be the most professional? Because it's a pretty big deal if someone's looking to sell their business or even buy a business too. So that's probably my take on the on the market. The life of a business broker. Um, oh, harder than one probably thinks. So I think a lot of people think it's easy. You know, oh yeah, you just sell a business. You know, you make 20, 30 grand, 40, 50 grand. But there's a lot more to it. I think, um, you know, like what, what we do, uh, we've got our own small business. So we've got a market. The business, we've got to market our own business, we've got to then sell, um, you know, we've got to do all our own admin, all that sort of stuff. Where then you've got to be really compassionate and help your clients that are actually selling their business because they're, you know, regular families normally that own that business, they want to move on. It's a big decision for them. So you've got to sort of be there for them. Buyers, a lot of buyers, it's the first time they bought a business, even, or the second or third. So they need your help and support. So there's a lot that sort of goes into it. I mean, it's not, it's not easy. Um, but it's a great, oh, I love it. You know, you meet, you meet so many people and so many business owners. That's the best thing. And you learn all this stuff about business. Like you, so much I've learned basically from everyone else's business that I've seen, you know, and so it really helps you a lot. And then even with my kids, like I'm teaching them about business based on a lot of things that I've seen other people do. So hopefully they'll, you know, be really good with business and investing and that sort of stuff as it's sort of one of the spin-offs that comes from sort of being in this industry, I think. But yeah, but it's not easy. How much money can you make? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's be good to know exactly the answer to that every time. Um, okay, so I suppose I can just look back over all the years that I've seen, you know, people in our own group, people, other business brokers that I know, people are sort of in this industry. Um, I think there's, there's a lot of people who enter the industry and they fail. They, they can't sell, they can't sell themselves. They might know about business and about, you know, accounting, but they can't, they can't, get that across to sort of help people in, in this sort of sales environment. So I think if you if you can't um, sell, you know, yourself and give people confidence in what you do, then, um, you know, you're never really going to make much money in this in this game and you better not not to be in it. But, but I've also met people who make more than a million dollars a year. So there's not many businesses you can go into at such sort of a low cost base to be able to get into where it offers that sort of potential. There's sort of really no limit because you know, you're selling all this stock. Like you can literally have millions of dollars worth of stock that you're kind of selling all these businesses, but you haven't actually had to pay for any of it. You've just got it listed on a bit of paper and then you just sort of put the buyer and the seller together. So that's one of the great things about it, I think, but it's a personal exertion business. And what I mean by that is, you know, it's how much you put in, how good you are. Um, and really what we do, like our, the whole Finn ecosystem, we provide two things really. We provide you with all the system and infrastructure and everything that's there for you to be able to then go and do this. And then we provide the brand credibility. So that's the two things that you get, you know, and of course we train you on all that sort of stuff. But then once you've got all that, you then go and do it, you know. It's not going to make you money. You'll make yourself money. It just helps you. And that's basically what the idea is. But um, yeah, I mean, it's been great to us, very kind to to us, this industry, um, and uh, you know, I know myself, I've done re really well. 
out of it, um, but I've worked really hard too, you know, and really tried my best to look after the clients and do a really good job and, and that's, um, you know, and constantly train myself and try to get better and that's really what you've got to do if you're in this or any sort of professional services industry sort of like this. So what do you do every day? Um, <laughs> well, not me, but yeah, obviously someone who's doing this in business are. Um, well, I guess our, like we've got pretty good software, so you know, I, the day would involve, you'd come in in the morning, uh, you'll open up your um, open up your uh, your computer, have a look what you've got on for today. Normally you'll have people that are coming on buyers and sellers. You'll just run through your list and see what you've got to do with them. What buyers do you need to get more information for or help them move to the next stage? Maybe give them a call, have a chat, that sort of stuff. What sellers have you got on the go where they're looking at selling, maybe coming on board? What information, more information do you need to get for them to get the business ready for sale? So that's normally the first thing sort of you do is just get your day organised that. You've probably then got meetings already booked because normally, to do this right, you're booked out normally around about a week in advance. So you might, I might talk to someone today and then say, okay, no worries. Well, look, let's follow up on this and we'll talk more but maybe Friday at 11 o'clock and you know, take things sort of further from there. So you, And you, they'll agree you book that in your diary. So you're mainly just doing phone meetings or face-to-face -face meetings if you can and just sort of helping people keep moving through the process of either getting their business sold or buying a business. And, you know, most people come through who are looking at buying and they won't buy that business. So you've got to then find them something else or you've got to um, maybe say, look, maybe you're not ready yet. You should do some more research just on stuff in general and really just help them, basically. And then the more people you help, the more sort of deals get put together and, you know, that's, that's how you earn your money. But that's basically what you do every day. It's really a computer and a phone business. And then the more people you can kind of meet with face-to-face -face or through Skype or something like that, it's good because you obviously get that connection. So.